Welcome back guys to Bloody's Garage. If you watched the last video, the last little Bloody's blog video, you realise that the Alpha um, unfortunately has died and it's sat here in the garage. Um came out has snapped. Now could be relatively okay, could be bad. Now we're gonna strip down the top of the well, I say strip down the top of the engine, we're gonna take off fuel pipes and the cam covers and things things like that today um, and get to the rocker arms and have a look for broken rocker arms and once we've determined that we have broken rocker arms I'll order a new timing belt kit including tensioner and water pump then I'll order the rocker arms cam cover gaskets probably and injector seal gaskets I think because I'm pretty sure they're leaking as well so I'll get all them oh and a locking tool locking tool kit so like eight things I need to order um, so we're going to crack on, get this teared down today and evaluate the situation and hope for the best. So as always, like and subscribe, let's crack on with this video and have a look at what damage it's done. Who knows? I'm hoping there's enough light in this garage for you guys to see on camera. I think you can. So here's our broken belt. I've already took this cover off to confirm that it was a snap belt. It's stuck on the teeth down there, so it's not an issue at the moment. What I want to look at is I want to have a look at the rocker arms underneath this cover. Now, to get to it, I need to remove things from the top that's in the way. Uh, and to start with, I need to disconnect the injectors, the pipes to the injectors, and then pull the injectors out. Now, yeah, I'm hoping the injectors are going to come out, but who knows? So, first thing, plugs, then these pipes, get the pipes out of the way, then I can get to the injectors, because the injectors are bolted in. So, I'm going to crack on with that, and hope for the best. Without you, you still be the one I talk to when I'm sad. Can't you see nothing to Love is all we have I wish it's run so deep Now when I try to sleep I feel so bad I should leave And by the time it's So I thought I'd quickly show you the injectors now, I've ripped them out, and look at the freaking oil that's caked all over them. You can see it running down onto the freaking bench. And I'm a little bit concerned, is obviously I've got these clamps here, everything's going to be cleaned up by the way. These clamps obviously hold them in, but I've only got three washers for them. And I've been using my magnet tool and I've gone down every single hole, found one of them, so I only found two, found one of them in one inside one of the holes, but that's it. I'm, I'm missing like these dome, one of these dome washers, I can't even pick them up because they're freaking that oily. On the, one of these dome washers that fits into the top there, like that. Um, so I don't know if it's actually had work done before and it's missing one. That pipe will not come off of there because it's actually on threading out of the actual um, injector. So that's not good. This T piece here is broke. Um, as I've tried to undo it on the car, it's just snapped through age and brittleness, so I need a new T-piece. Um, excuse me, because you're on a tripod. That is the injectors. I've undone the clips and the injector loom, that's why it's, you know, it's out of the way. So I'm going to undo these bolts. See, I think I'm going to have to take that rail off. I didn't think it said I had to take the rail off on the net, because I've had a look on the net. But I think that rail's got to come off, so I can undo that bolt. 
fun, all fun and games, guys. So I'm gonna crack on. An oily mess. So distant when you're home, always hanging by your phone. Do I even know you? And I get paranoid sometimes. Cause I know that you ain't mine And I'm lost without you Fingers crossed now guys, I'm just making a bit of room on my bench. Um, everything should be undone. I think I've got every bolt. Oh, I don't know, that was a bit tight. Have I missed the bolt this side? See that side's, oh, this side isn't. Yeah, there we go. Bang that on there. Oh, wow. I think we've got some broken rocker arms. Wow. I'll get the camera in in a second so you can have a closer look, guys. But holy crap. Oh, we go. How many smashed? One, two. Three, because that's cracked. Four, five, six, seven. Is it eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You've got eight smashed rock around. Well, there's so many smashed, but there's so many cracked. All right, take my gloves off. My gloves are covered in oil. I'll grab the little torch and we'll grab you guys. So, tilt the camera a bit more. Can you see? That should not be smashed. Them two like look okay, so they should look like them. That's all smashed. Smashed, smashed. Yeah, that one's got a crack in it. This one here, it's got a crack in the arm, like in the side of it. So, wow. Uh, so I need to get ordering some parts. I need to go inside now, make a list of all the parts I need, and then order them. I need to have a look at that injector as well. If that pipe's no good on it. Wow. Fun times ahead. I need to figure out how to check the valves from up the top. I don't know if you just press them or not. I don't know. Because there is a way of doing it. Because some of you who don't know a lot about these engines will be like, well, it's bent the valves. Well, the rockers are designed to break. That's why they broke. Um, very rare does it actually damage the, pi the piston. Hit Sorry. Obviously, the pistons hit the valves. That's how they broke the rockers. But very rare does it actually bend the valves because it smashes the rockers instead. Which makes rebuilding it after a belt's gone quite easy. And a lot of people who have these engines in, whether it's Fiat, in the Alphas, in the Vauxhalls, will all agree that that's the case. You, you can just replace the rockers. Um, but I'm sure there's a way of testing them. But I need new gaskets. I need to clean all this crap out. I need to do an oil and filter change again, even though I only did it when I did the turbo. Parts are going to add up a little bit, but I need it to be right. And I love the, I love the car. And if I get this fixed, guys, I can then start to modify it because I want to modify it. That's the whole plan. I want to make the Alpha my own. Right, anyway, so it's not a very long video so far because I'm now going to go and order the parts. So, <sighs> wish me luck. Several days later. So I started filming this video at the start of the week on the Monday and it's now the Saturday and I've been waiting for parts to turn up and it's a bit cold. So what we have here, wiper blades so you can ignore them, 
we have new rock cover gasket we have our timing belt kit with water pump and tensioner I have some brand new injector seals that is a locking kit oh that hurt my finger locking kit so we can obviously lock up the timing and some new glow plugs now what hasn't arrived which is the most important thing that I need right now is my rockers my rockers have not arrived it's a bit annoyed so nothing else has really changed in the garage then I tell you what I have done I've used my magnet tool to go in every little hole to try and find them um, you see that there it's like part of the needle roller bearings from inside these so you, can, you can see them there so I've picked out every single piece that I can possibly find or at least I think I have and that's where we're at so I need to now access the side of the engine and I need to get the car in the air don't know if I can do that in the garage get the wheel off uh, and hopefully support the engine somehow and get the engine mount off so I can get the belt off and look at the water pump and the tensioner because there's a reason why this belt snapped and we don't know what it is yet so see uh, the pump could have seized tensioner could have seized or maybe the belt was just past it and snapped I don't know with the way it looks like it snapped I think something had seized um but I don't know so I'm gonna try and get the car in the air I'm gonna have to move my toolbox out of the way I wish I had a wider garage. Anyway, I'll come back to you when I've got things in the air. So as you can see, I've actually got more room than I thought to work on a car on one side. But I have had to hug the wall quite a lot. Look, you can just see. I've got about an inch and a half before it hits this. And the car's on a slight angle, hence why I've got more room at the front, which was planned than at the rear. But potentially I could actually work front and rear on the car. You know, like do what do what like brakes on one side or suspension on one side, which makes me think I might w work on the MR2 inside the garage because it's smaller. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, where's my little torch gone? Have I left it down here? Uh, so, oh, uh, got the wheel off as you can see, and then I've took the inner arch cover off. Get the brighter light. Brighter light. There we go. Um, which has revealed the bottom auxiliary pulley. Now I need to loosen this belt off, I um, need to find the tension there, take the belt off and then I need to take that pulley off and then behind it I should be able to get access to the belt. I also need to figure out where I'm going to be supporting the engine because I'm going to have to take the mount off so I'm probably going to have to get me jack under the front to hold it with a block of wood or something, some way that's pretty solid. I'm not too fussed about doing that just yet as in taking the mount off until I've got my rockers and I'm ready to roll because I don't want sagging down or anything like that longer than it needs to I do feel like see this car's done 164,000 miles freaking torch 164,000 miles and it's like I'd like to freaking preserve the inside here and you know clean off all the muck and then spray some stuff on it and um, some sealant same as like all this here um, but it's already done 164k and that's the only damage that there is it's not even damage is it this is got a broken spring this is the one that um, I need to replace Um, it's got like half a coil snapped off which fell out last time I jacked it up this is also the drive uh, CV joint that's clicking this one just here it's, also, <laughs> it's all on the same side this should also be the wheel bearing that's whirring as well but I'm in park and the brakes judder which is obviously a, probably a warp disc. Now this disc feels pretty lip to me, but the pads are all right. So I'll live with the Judder for now, just for a little bit. So I get a bit more money because I've only had one payday from my new job and I need to you know, get my finances in order. Uh, and then I'll get some replacement discs and I'll do the pads and might even get some fresh red paint, I don't know. It's a shame freaking love this car some of you will like why are you doing this you know why are you spending this money on on a such an old car i'm gonna sneeze <laughs> there, we, there it is um because i love it i love this car 08 plate yeah it's got 160,000 miles on it but i've already put a new turbo on it obviously i'm about to put um a new belt pump rockers and that on it got three new tires on it relatively new tires and i've got 4,000 miles on you know i like it got all the gadgets I want in it so I like it 
Right, I'm just going to put the camera back down. I'm going to carry on tinkering. Not a lot I can show you at the moment until the other bit turn up. And it's now Saturday, so they ain't going to freaking turn up until Monday at the earliest now, which is a bit annoying. Second class. Second class is what they sent them as. Anyway, I'm sure I chose a better option. I'm sure I paid to have them here before then. Okay, so I may have got a bit carried away. I've lost where I put my torch. Um, if you can see already, I've um, stripped it a bit. So, you last saw it, I just got it in the air. Yep, done that. It's in the air. Took the engine mount off. So it has. It is supported by the uh, jack underneath. Um, obviously, auxiliary pulleys off. I mean, the, the auxiliary belts off, obviously the cam belts obviously snapped. I've looked at the cam belt all the way around. Um, it might have just been a bad cam belt. Well, it's probably done its mileage, don't get me wrong. Water pump's not locked up. Pulley's fine. Pulley's fine. And the bottom, I've been able to spin. I was able to spin earlier. Um, yeah. So everything seems relatively fine. I'll show you in the arch. Not that there's much to see in the arch. You, know, you can just kind of see up there. There's the pump. Had to be a bit ingenious sometimes with breaker bars. So I've ended up using my jack handle. That was for the bolts for the engine mount just here. And the engine mount now is down here. You got the engine mount. That's um oh, the cover I've just been fighting to take off. So you can actually get to the water pump and stuff. So I'm call it quits now. Might even uh, fucking blinding myself with the torch. Might end this video here, mainly because I've stripped it down now and now I'm waiting for parts. So Come and join me in part two of Will the Alpha Ever Live Again? Oh, I should also say, I'm trying to get hold of an endoscope as well. Um, because it'd be quite cool if I could put the endoscope down where the in diesel injectors were, because it's quite a small camera. Uh, and we can have a look inside the engine without actually taking the head off. But the plan is to rebuild it, put the head, not the head, put the cover back on with the cams, and then rotate it by hand hope that we can hear the compression and it doesn't go jing jing and get stuck on any um valves looking at the top of the head i don't think there's any issues because everything looks as it should like all the, the valves seem to be sat right the springs look right um so touch um fake wood we'll be on for a winner so make sure you see me in the next video stay humble uh, and we'll see you another soon in another video. I'm out of here. Ciao.